This is Dennis Daly with another report on the top stories of the day relating to the coronavirus pandemic. Hello, this is Allison Electric. I am filling in again for Dennis Daly. Dennis says he will be back on Monday to start doing the nightly update again. In coronavirus news, before we join you again on Monday, the number of confirmed cases in the U.S. should surpass 1.3 million. The death toll in the nation is now more than 77,000. Meanwhile, there is new evidence that the report issued by the CDC as to how states should start lifting restrictions was stopped at the highest levels of the White House. The president, when questioned, told reporters that the CDC report was never made official. That is a lie. The president simply want to move the nation back to some kind of normalcy faster than is healthy and safe. Some pundits say that the president is essentially risking people's lives just to make the economy look better. At last check, but the president, private valet, and the vice president's press officer have tested positive for COVID-19. This has been Allison Electric, filling in for Dennis Daly, who will return Monday. Join us then for the next update. And remember to join us throughout the day for a wide variety of programming. We begin our broadcast day at midnight when we present the Broadcast Almanac. At 2 in the morning, you'll hear another item from The American Diary. Then the good works of a special honoree is presented at 5 a.m. on The Saint of the Day. Then at 7 a.m., we go back into the archives to hear what it sounded like eight years ago today. At 10 in the morning, we present another in the series, L. David Marks, 100 Events That Changed History. 11 a.m. brings another edition of Bob Whitmore's Almanac. Hear a special report on travel from one of 10 different correspondents on Travel Notes at 3 in the afternoon. Then, Dennis Daly presents his interesting commentary on the passing scene on Nightcast at 9 p.m. And at 10 p.m., another coronavirus update. It's a full day of programming, weekdays, right here on the Shrivikman Radio Network. Shrivikman programs are distributed by Ursat Satellite.